here from Cosmo Poppins Cornbread. So I am canning up some apples today, just plain Jane apple slices. So I peeled, cored, and sliced up some apples. I've got my jars nice and hot over here in my steam canner. And I just finished boiling the apples in a simple syrup. I use a light syrup, which is five and a quarter cups of water and two and a quarter cups of sugar that have been boiled um, until the sugar was dissolved. Now, as I slice the apples, I put them in the ascorbic uh, water bath to keep them from browning. And then once they were all ready, I drained and rinsed them and I put them in the pot here with the light simple syrup, brought them to a boil, boil boiled them for five minutes, and now I'm going to jar them up. And I'm going to leave a half inch head space. So this is my new ladle that I got uh, the other day when I went to the country store, um, the Dutch oven bakery it's called. I love this thing because it's a ladle, but it has a strainer feature, so I don't have to get a ton of liquid right away. I can just work on the solids, get all of them in place, and then I can scoop out the amount of liquid that I need. I love this little thing. It is so handy. I can add my liquid that I need. Just gonna take our little wand here, get out the air bubbles. Add a little more water to get it up to the right height. Wipe off the rims. And then put on the lids. Ooh, now I don't want to use this one. If you can see that there, it's rusty. I didn't catch that when I was putting them in my um, in my hot water here. Always want to check your lids before you actually put them on your jars. Alright, so my apples are all jarred up, they're in the canner, and I'm going to let this get up to temperature, that full rolling boil, and my little temperature gauge up here will show when it gets there, and then they'll process for 10 minutes. If you're using a hot water bath canner, it would be a 10 minute process as well. 
So now while I'm waiting on this to do its thing, I'm going to fold some laundry. I'm, I'm on like load number three today. So I have a bit of a busy day today. Um, a couple of years ago, woo, static. I officiated the wedding of a dear friend of ours, somebody that we've known forever. Um, he's kind of like the brother I never had, and it was a it was an honor to be asked to do that. Well, he is actually being ordained today, so I'll be headed to the ceremony later today. I'm just trying to get some stuff done before I head on out away from the homestead because. You know, there's always stuff that needs to be done. <laughs> as soon as I get done folding my laundry here, I'm going to wash up some eggs and take them some eggs because uh, they love our farm eggs. Right. Almost to temperature over there. So once it reaches the point that it needs to be, then I can start my timer. Now these towels right here, uh, these are what are called flower sack towels. They're a really thin cotton and they might not seem all too fancy, but let me tell you, these are old, they are stained, but they are my favorite kind of towels to use because they are extremely absorbent and they're very inexpensive. <laughs> this one's actually got some holes in it, but I just use it for messy jobs. I love these things. Um, like I said, they're stained and some of them are in some rough shape, but I love these things. You can get like a 15 pack or a dozen for just a few bucks and um, they last. They're the same kind of towels that my grandmother always used. And even though they are super thin, you would think they wouldn't be very absorbent, but let me tell you, they absorb way more water than any other uh, dish towel or type of dish towel that I have. Um, I could not imagine my kitchen without them. Love these things, no matter how stained they get.